Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark. I'm Jim, and this is a movie review for a movie that just blew my mind. Uh, it's called Butcher's Book 2, Raghorn. Uh, this is 2024 film, one hour and 28 minutes. It is a sequel to Butcher's from 2020, which I have not seen. Uh, but this movie definitely has made me want to see it. Directed by Adrian Langley who also co-wrote with Colin Casagrande. And it stars um, Corgund Svensson as Ash. We'll talk about him in a minute. Josh, played by Sam Huntsman. Uh, character named Sarah, played by Holly Kennedy. And uh, there's, there's a couple of other people. The Butchers are cannibals. That's not a surprise. I'll read the synopsis in a second. And the two main characters are Clyde and Crusher. Clyde, played by Nick Biskupik, and Michael Swatton plays Crusher. Crusher is like this exaggerated, somewhat deformed, big ogre. Um, so the very short synopsis is a car accident leaves the victims in the hands of a brutal of brutal cannibals who plan to hack them up for meat. Um, so this story isn't like unique. The idea of um, you know a group getting stranded somewhere remote, and then there is a family of cannibals. You think of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and we'll talk about that in a second. You think of Wrong Turn. Things like that. So the story itself isn't very baseline unique, but <laughs> what they do capitalize in are a few little twists and turns because um, we have uh, this group, and the one lead of the group of four is Brian and his girlfriend and her brother, and then another guy. And, you know, we go through a lot of. Um, tropey stuff, you know, where we're finding out the character traits of, of each of those members as they are going somewhere that nobody is aware of other than Brian. Brian's the only one who knows their destination and why they are going there. And then there's an accident and it's a pretty big one and it's pretty crazy. It's a crazy accident. And things amp up relatively quickly. Now, before the accident, they, they do, and this is what I mean by tropey stuff. You have the obligatory, we have to stop and get gas. So you have the gas station scene where, you know, there's like odd things, red flags and things like that. Um, or there is a character that's giving an ominous warning. Oh, don't go down that road. There's crazy people. Or in this case, the sheriff just happens to be there as well, which really makes Brian uber nervous, which also now makes you as the viewer very suspicious of why he's so crazy nervous. And, okay, so we move ahead a little bit. They have the accident. Um, one of them doesn't make it. Uh, we have a, a, a car, a truck that just happens to be coming by to help. But in the frantic state that the group is in, uh, a gun is discharged, and maybe that driver uh, gets away but doesn't make it. And then we find out the reason why Brian was so suspicious was because of a captured, kidnapped person in the trunk who we think is um, a woman played by. Corgan Svensson. Corgan Svensson is kind of a uh, uh, very independent um, actor and identifies it to everything that I can see when I look at as he. But um, all of the roles that he plays, as listed on IMDb, uh, began his career as an androgynous model and actor when he attended an open casting call in Kingston, Ontario um, at the age of 14. So he plays these roles that are like these androgynous type 
looks. So dressed in cut off shorts and white blouse. So female looking long hair. Um, so that is the, t the twist with that group. And then comes along the butchers, the, the two boys. Um, and they are thinking they're going to get helped. Clyde definitely um, makes it known that he's not necessarily there to help, takes them back to the shack, and then it just gets bonkers. I can't even, I literally can't even go into too much more detail because there were so many WTF moments for me and jaw drops. And <clears throat> just as you're thinking, okay, this is getting like a little monotonous. This is a lot of dialogue. It's a lot of like one-liners, particularly with Clyde. We spent a lot of time with Clyde. And I really started to get worried like, all right, this is just going to go all downhill. And then something crazy happens. And then another crazy thing happens. And we have a full-on, full-on trigger warning, a full-on dick and balls right there. And I don't want to spoil it, but man, there's craziness happening. I got to look at my notes because I really don't want to. I, I wrote my notes in a manner in which I would not. Um, spoil things because this movie is so crazy. Um, but yeah, so we've got all of the survivors plus the kidnapped person at the shack. The sheriff is coincidentally on the trail uh, because of that guy who um, originally stopped to try to help the group, but then things went sideways. So the sheriff is also slowly approaching. So things amp up as the group is trying to escape or be butchered. The sheriff is coming closer. Things escalate, and it's a crazy ending. Very crazy ending. We get down to where there's like a final girl. And, um, you know, the way a movie like this would end. But then it's also left uh, open-ended. So there could be a Butcher's 3. I didn't pay attention enough maybe to understand what the raghorn subtitle is so it's you know butchers book to raghorn and i'm not really sure what the raghorn meant um this would definitely be a fun movie to rewatch or watch in a group uh do a watch party if you're one of a, another youtube channel and you want to just watch something for the reactions of first time viewers of this, because you'll definitely get some, oh my God, <laughs> moments out of it. This was on Apple and Prime, um, and it's also on Hoopla. I'm noticing Hoopla come up quite a bit, and I had to look what Hoopla was up. And apparently if you are, if you have a library card, I suppose you could type in your library card number into the streaming service of Hoopla and, rent it like you would um, from the library. So I think that's a pretty cool offer. Um, I don't have a current um, library card, so I can't take advantage of that service, but I know that there are plenty of viewers that still do frequent the libraries. And uh, that's a good thing because uh, those are integral parts of the community. That's going to do it for Butcher's Book 2 Raghorn. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about cannibals and androgyny. Row 18, plot 20. <laughs>